Hello, this is Iron Bill back again with another video, and tonight I have some PvP play again. It will be on the Fortress. It's uh, Top Tree Stormcaller again. Uh, I, I played around with some different things tonight. I was actually trying to use the Huckleberry and uh, the Seventh Seraph CQC. And I think under the right circumstances, that's a doable thing because on mouse and keyboard, the Huckleberry's uh, stability issue is really a non-issue. I mean, you can hit pretty straight with it. But the problem is submachine guns in the current meta aren't real strong, especially if people keep distance or if you're on a map that doesn't allow you to quickly close distance. Uh, and it didn't work out. And about halfway through the match when I was using it, I had to switch over because I was... I was blowing it for the team and uh, we were going to lose because of me so I switched over uh, back to the duty bound and kept the, the shotgun and after that things uh, went along just uh, just fine. So uh, something I did and I'll explain as I load in here. I've been messing around with my mapping a bit because I wanted to incorporate the Icarus, Icarus dash into my play here a little bit and it's going to be a slow process because I have to uh, memorize a new key, but it's not like learning the whole keyboard again. Anyway, I also have to, to learn to initiate contact uh, many times by tossing the melee first and following up with machine gun shots, and or vice versa. I, I could throw some shots down and hit them with a, with a melee. That distance melee is beast. So uh, here I am jumping in, duty bound, going straight to B. I'm going to toss a well down on a corner here so I can watch that corner right there and the side. Now they're going to come from here first. I'm just laying some fire down to pre-fire it. Now there's that melee that I was talking about. I just didn't follow through because I had people on my left side. I couldn't couldn't continue on with it. But I managed to finish him off. Alright, so then I see this guy to the left. I get him, but I get fixated on him. And I, I saw the guy on the right too. I just didn't take him. So I'm going to go back up and help get B, which he's already gotten. So we have two zones. That's what we want. I'm going to try to defend the heavy, but you see three to four guys coming for it. And I don't have much chance to hold them off. I'm trying. But as you see, there are literally three to four people on it, and there just wasn't any defense of it. My teammate... Uh, my teammates didn't seem to want to defend heavy that much. At least not initially. Of course, we're winning 22 to 10. So it's easy to get complacent when you get off to a good start like that. Okay, there are two guys crossing over. He's going to pop up here with a shotgun. And his shotgun gun game is almost certainly better than mine. We trade. Both of us with duty bounds. Got to respect it. It's another one of those deals where he had enough damage on me that his, his teammate could have followed up. With a hunter, I could have worm husked out of it, gotten some health back, and who knows. They're on B. I'm going to take A. I'm not going to just keep throwing myself at B to keep um, trying to take back a zone that they have numbers on. If they're going to put all their numbers into one zone, I'll make them pay for it. Now this guy's going to come across. I catch a door frame, but manage to finish him off. He didn't even try for cover. That was the amazing thing. I see the shadow here. I'm going to back up. Yep, yeah, and melee finishes him off. Now I need to get a little health back or I will die. Toss a grenade in there. Watch this. Oh, world's best grenade right there on him. But he follows up with a good one in the door frame, and there are two of them coming. I know it. They've got A already. There's no reason to die while they have uh, zone advantage. So I'm going to back up. And this is something I'm doing better rather than in, in this particular game. Rather than throwing myself at numbers that I'm not going to win on, play a little bit closer to my numbers. Advantage. I've got a super here. I saw a super over on the other side, so while I was waiting. I didn't want to get shielded out of my super. So here we go. I see red on the door. I get that guy. And my team's already cleaned up the other fellow. Now, I could try to zip across the map. Probably the smart thing would have been to go cover the heavy, but I decided instead to gamble and take the zone. We needed it. Because they have advantage right now. And 
it turned out to be the thing to do because did you catch that I shut it down <laughs> not only that our guys got the heavy so it really the gamble paid off probably wasn't the smart move but it, it did work that super lasts such a long time and ordinarily in the battle of reflexes I'm gonna lose that every time so I feel for that guy because he probably should have gotten me and I think he was counting on it too all right so we're up by 20 points and again this it's not a blowout you know they are fighting for zones and it's kind of a back and forth thing we, we had that initial gap which is kind of holding but if you take away the first minute these two teams are playing roughly even but I'm not going to get caught up on the I'm not fighting for the zone game. My teammates respond. Come on up and help with B. Gonna come out here and see if we can catch an angle. That's two. There's a third. He's in the doorway. Now, I probably have the wrong grenade on. Because that one didn't do any area of effect. This one you have to actually stick. And I've got a triumph that is associated with that I'm trying to get. It's the only reason I went with it. Okay, we got them all around. Time to back out. Almost got myself in too deep. I see that orb down there. Let's see if I go for it. I saw it at the time, and I do. Going to go for C, since they have massed at B, obviously, as fast as they took it. That leaves them one or two on A. C. And this guy's not going to last long. Now I'm going to go for that heavy. Because they have numbers at A, which means they're not on the heavy. You can always tell by how fast that num that uh, zone flips, how many they've got on it. Now let's see if I can do anything with it. I know they're going to come from A, and here they are. There's one. I see him cross over. My teammate comes up and gets in front of me. Almost gets me killed. He's running a Lord of Wolves, it looks like. I'm going to back up so that Maul does not have an easy shot on me. Burn up the rest of my heavy, then get out of there. They're going to get C. Can't stop it. Best to wrap around and try to defend... Okay, he took him. I've got my super again. I'm going to head back towards C and look for an opportunity to use it if the numbers are there. And I don't want to throw it on one guy. I just noticed I was on a 10 streak at that time. What do you know? Golden gun. Watch this. Oh, this poor guy. It's the second time. <laughs> that is just some funny stuff. I didn't realize it was the same guy. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was. And I just about got taken out by that super. And then he gets, sticks me with a grenade. Good job. I mean, it forced me off. And so ends my streak at 11. Now again, they triple capped us, and if they if they could have capitalized here, things would have turned around really quickly. But we got A back. We're about to get C. Now for once, I did what I should have done. And that is that instead of just fixating on the guy that I was firing on currently, when I saw that the imminent threat under me, I went for him. Okay. Yeah, I saw that skip across there just in time to back out and die. There were three of them. I saw the, the hunter dodge go across, and I knew I was done for. They're going to give us heavy again, especially since our guy just popped super. Poor guy. I never had a chance. I could have used those orbs, but I would have to step out there and get killed to get them. And I still have heavy. 11 rounds left. Decide to come up to B and see what I can do with it. 
Need to back up though, because I'm gonna get pinched. Just like that. Got six rounds left. Follow me, I dare you. We've cleaned off B. Unfortunately, I lose my situational awareness. Now, it's, see, I play better without heavy, honestly. As I watch myself play with heavy, I get real tentative because I'm afraid I'm going to die with it. And the thing to do is just use it up. Deny them the heavy. Use it up. I don't know if I got it or not, but... All right, anyway. Kind of tapered off towards the end, but I had a really good start there. And by the way, did you see I got cipher decoders? I didn't have a mask on. So how'd that happen? Anyway, 19 defeats, uh, 6 captures, 3.17 efficiency. Uh, I got to be happy with that. Now, uh, again, I would feel bad for this team. I really would, except, you know, they they were hanging in there. I mean, that that's, I would say, 50 points-ish, 50-60. I don't mind a 9150 if it doesn't feel like a blowout. And it didn't really tear away. We, we just kind of held that 20-point lead, which isn't much. It can turn real quick. And they triple capped us late in the match. Had a chance. Uh, it's just we flipped it. And, uh, you know, uh, we made the right choices. You know, on my side of things, uh, I got a little greedy towards the end, I think, uh, trying to go for kills uh, instead of uh, playing my life a little bit better. But... You know, I'm also trying to play more CQC, and, uh, you know, that's some of it. And when I was doing the Huckleberry and the, and the shotgun earlier, man, I was just rushing right into stuff, and, and it, I was causing a serious problem for our team. Uh, the best player in the, in the lobby was on my team, and I still just about <laughs> offset him by throwing away so many uh, deaths. So uh, this time, uh, the one time I got really tentative was with the Heavy the last time, and, and I shouldn't have. I mean, I, I had the advantage. I should have used it, so... I'm just going to have to learn to aim better. Anyway, with that, um, that's a pretty good match to end on. And we're about 12 and a half minutes into this. So I hope you enjoyed uh, what you saw tonight. And uh, with that, I am going to wish you all a very good night. This is Iron Bill signing out.